time for relaxation. Let's just get right into it. Listen, if you are on stream, you have all the right to low-key troll, and that is what's going on here. But right now, we're getting an early 29% and stage control. I'd be okay with Psychic trolling if this was us, because that's what he does. <laughs> Not here. Not no. here. There's actual stuff on the line. And look, I've been talking with Psychic as well, and he has been saying that April is his month to start getting back into the game and taking it seriously. He's been taking a, a little bit of a break from Ultimate, kind of playing on and off, but he says April is his month to come back. All right, ooh, quick jump. Got two on the bucket. One more, and that will be a full charge oil panic here. Nice back air control by Psychic, getting that jump read again. Ooh, that jump in there, Psychic ready for it. That's a big game and watch thing too, so Weird has got to be careful when he does that. This is the first time in a bit of actually seeing Chris uh, recover low. Like, whole, whole side against me, he was just going high every time, and, and I credit to him with work. You, know, you got to think it's probably because Palutena back here. That move is so big in control, especially in these kind of matchups too, where you want to recover high really bad, but Palutena's got up air and back air to control that airspace really well. There we go, and nope, you cannot touch that. You can't touch, no. you can't touch Chris. Weird Zone's being built. Do not enter. Yeah, Under construction. 136%. I don't know, man. He's definitely got a bit of a comeback. And that up air hitting the first stock here. I guess, you know what? That makes a lot more sense. Going high on pallet doesn't seem like a good idea anymore. No. I forgot. You just, have the, you just have the umbrella going. But now he's taking that. There you go. Once again, weird opted in for the up B. And Psychic landing with the Nair. How much percent is he getting off this conversion? All right. Quick 30 piece. Uh, nope. No read there. Oh, whipping the grab here. Both players kind of spaghettiing around each other at the moment. Right here, finally getting a little bit of center stage. What does I can do with it? Get grabbed. He gets grabbed with that stage control. Oh, good get up attack there to react to the up smash. I right know they're just kind of trying to hit each other off. It, it, it seems like they're less concerned about actually getting like any sort of like comfort mm -hmm. and just trying to hit each other really, really hard. Yeah, I think Psychic's big thing is he's trying to read into the high recovery and the high approaches that Weird normally likes to take. I mean, he usually upbeats out of shield like that and then goes in for either down air or fair. He's got to be careful. Oh, both players know. whipping their attacks at that split moment. Oh, yeah, I like I like Chris's idea there. Just, you know, wrong side. Was there. Mm -hmm. Now Psychic kind of stealing a bit of momentum. There's the up air again to snuff out that down air, taking the second stock with a two-stock lead here. Chris doesn't want to stay ground. That's the second time he's gone, he's gone down to up air. And honestly, oh. Ooh. Never mind, just keep coming in from the air. Unfortunately, getting punished there. Nice, nice side tilt there to confirm the first stock, but a bit of a deficit at the moment. It's going to be a little bit tough to work with here. There you go, Chris, walking his way up, getting right, getting back to the ledge. When you've got Palutena movement. Game & Watch is a little slow, so that's going to be kind of tough catching Palutena. There's yeah. that backer to cover that high recovery again. Pella makes up for the whole of slow thing by being, you know, Palutena and just mm -hmm. having an invincible back air. So it doesn't really matter where they're at. They're safe where they're at. Right. Oh, wait. What an up tilt there. Good empty hop to kind of bait out that high recovery once again, taking the game one. All right. So uh, notes on that game one. I think at this point, uh, Chris just has to stay grounded more. Yeah. Like I think being grounded is going to be a big a gameplay changer for this, too. It's struggling. He's getting caught in the air a lot. Just every single time he goes up there, it's a risk, especially at 4%. Maybe he wants to stay there up early, up there early, just condition. But as soon as he gets an opportunity, he should probably just go back to the ground. Even if Palo down tilt is scary at ledge, mm -hmm. I think you know trying to bait up that timing is going to be a lot better of an experience than suffering just getting stacked up by up air. Listen, man, he is just jumping in and trying to down air way too much, and Psychic has got the download already. Look at that, already preparing for that with the up airs. Yeah, there you go, Brain, just holding that center, finally getting out of there, Chris. Opportunity to build damage here and just gets wow <laughs> into the up air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Completely out of bacon as well. It's That's like a chaining these strange combos together and they're working. That's ridiculous, man. Up. He, like he moves up, but he's struggling to like actually get what he wants once he's in that space. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do like the shield approach from Weird earlier on, too. I wanted to compliment that. Was he's running up and shielding a lot of these stray hits, but just not getting the follow ups that he needs once he gets close enough like that if you see that he just did it again it's making it harder for psychic to punish but i mean at this point though with the deficit psychic doesn't need to approach there we go it's going to take the first stock here with a decent lead already oh 
earlier there was a little interaction with an air where the uh, towers are out, out stuffed, mm -hmm. and now Chris finally gets to uh, get the payback there. Finally, get a little bit of damage on the board. Oh no, the nine oh, you hammer. Ooh, you hear Unfortunate. that? Unfortunate. I respect the side B though. You know when you're down a. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love invincibility. Smash <laughs> ultimate at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe he iframed through counter. He said, "You know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm just not gonna care." Psychic like was like, "Let me get this read," and he's like, "No." <laughs> if only that led to more. I do think both the players are just like, they're, they're just in there like, "What just happened?" Well, this I would be too. I would be dumbfounded. Whenever the set ends, that's going to be the thing that get gets mentioned by both of them. Ooh, and that's fair. Barely getting away from that. We are finally getting stage control again. I love that little drift that we do with the down air. Mm. Fine. Instead of like going at uh, Psychic, he goes and just goes around him and then lands on stage to like avoid like having to be on ledge. I love that. Successfully getting the ledge trap this time with the jump in. Oh. Right here we go. Ooh, Only that's a grab. And big rage percent here. We are dying at a lower percent here. Two stocks again. Yeah. Here's the problem now. Uh, Chris has to kind of hit with the three hits. So you're just going to see a lot of uh, probably fair. Oh, yeah. And air train coming in. Psyche getting that early, almost 30%. All right. Ooh, does that kill from Ooh, all the way across? The DI was a little. Uh, I don't know what I was watching right there. Uh, I would say something about sitting down, but at that point, uh, the joke just plays itself. Listen, that is a man with a lead, though, because 0% extra stock, and Weird is already on 64. He's got a lot of work to do here. Ooh, ooh I don't like seeing that. Yeah. Oh, a little bit, nice little fastball there to catch the uh, fuck up. He's letting go of shield a little oh, too early. All right, all right, Psycho's getting disrespectful. <laughs> oh, yeah, now, now he just wants the kill. He's like, I want this game to be over. I'm trying to move on. He nared that bomb to get rid of it, too. What yeah. a play. Yeah, you can just hit the bomb a lot of times. If you have like an immediate out of shield option, mm -hmm. you can just hit bomb. And it just does nothing. That's yeah, really unfortunate. You just get to ignore bomb, and your move's probably still out, so you just hit the game and watch Pauline with it. Oh, here it goes. Full bucket. And he and waste it. Oh, unfortunate. Jumping the gun too quick. I wonder if... Because those are the, the individual hits we're supposed to play. Do you think that bucket's actually like really powerful? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. Because I think those were like the smaller hits, because you know how the yeah. final hit does more like knockback and damage? Yeah. Oh, here we go. At ledge, can Chris at least take this stock? Give himself a, just a fledging of a chance. Listen, man, don't count Game Watch out. He's living that dash attack. That is the smash God saying, you got one last chance, man. Here we go. It is. Stack damage. Here goes a couple of, here's, well, I was going to say a couple of arrows, but apparently it's just one. Slam down. Yeah, I don't know what you did. I think he tried to downer there, and that got him killed. That is going to be 2-0. Oh. 